I'm a big fan of the Hacker News website, but sometimes it can be a bit overwhelming because there's a lot of posts here and there's a lot of comments. You can see 120 comments, 300 comments. So sometimes it can be a real hassle to find if you're searching for something specific. So I tried to create this script that kind of solves this problem. So if we run this now, what's going to happen is that we're going to go to this script here and kind of select how num many number of pages we want to scrape from Hacker News. So I'm just going to select one now. That means the first 30 posts here, right? And we're going to catch the titles, the URLs and all of the comments. And what we're going to do next is actually embed all this into some kind of rag system that we can do some semantic searching in yeah, through all of the comments. So if we let this run for a while now, I'm going to show you what kind of structure we get this back in. Okay, so you can see scrape post have been saved to scrape post of JSON, and here we get all the embeddings. So let's take a look at the structure here. If we go to our JSON file, you can see this is the structure we get, right? You can see all of the comments. So we have the title, the link, and all the comments, right? And when we embedded this now, this is the structure we end up with. So you can see there's a lot of data here, right? If we zoom out of it. So everything is in lines of uh, chunks of thousand. So now we can actually start searching through this. So if we go back to Hacker News, and I saw there was a post on MKBHD here, 120 comments. So let's try to find some uh, sentiment analysis for this post here. So let's just search what is the sentiment around MKBHD, right? And here you can see we fetch all the information we can find uh, that is re related to this keyword. You can see MKBHD and yeah, MKBHD. We are looking through all of the comments, right? And we kind of end up with this result here. Based on the comments, the overall sentiment seems that MKB review of the MA a Humane AI product was fair and justified. And the criticism against him is overblown. Uh, so the general sentiments uh, to be supportive of MKBHD and critical of attempts of attacking his character. Yeah. So you can see, I think it did a pretty good job here. And it mentions some kind of Twitter post from Vassalo. I don't know. I haven't read too much into this. But yeah, I think that worked out pretty good. Uh, we are running the Haiku model here. But we also have the option to run a local model through Ulama. Here is kind of a quick overview of how this works. So let's say we start here on the left side. Uh, on the Hacker News website. Uh, we scrape a set of number of pages that includes the URL, title and um, comments. We convert that into JSON and we take that JSON file and do it, turn it into kind of chunks of thousand characters uh, into a text file I have specified. Uh, we can of course convert straight to text but uh, I like to keep the JSON. We can use it for other things, right? And that uh, chunks of thousands uh, is going to be converted into embeddings using a, a local embeddings model. And when we have those embeddings, we can actually, when the user puts in his question, we can use those embeddings. We turn the question into embeddings too, and we search for a semantic similarity. And when we find those, uh, we can read those from RAG and turn it back to the LLM as context. And in that context, we also include our user question, right? And then the model can answer our question with the context from the embeddings model. So it's a pretty nice flow and it works pretty good. Easy to set up. So yeah, that is kind of how I thought about solving this problem. If we take a quick look at the code here, you can see it's about 210 lines. Uh, I have set it up so we both have the anthropic LLM. And we also have the option to pick an Olama chat. So we can choose what kind of model we want. Uh, of course, you have to install Olama if you want to use that. And we have the get relevant context function. This is kind of how we look up the embeddings. So the important thing here is to think of many, how many results you want to return. So that is the top K. Uh, if we set this to one, we only get the closest similarity, right? as I talked about in some of my previous videos. Uh, but yeah, like I said, pretty easy setup. Uh, this is how we actually go get all the information from the Hacker News website. And this is, this you can kind of turn into whatever you want. If you have some other source you want to get some information from, uh, just adjust it to whatever need you have, right? 
And yeah, this is just the main function. The sentence transformer we are using is the all mini LM L6 V2, as I used in my previous video. So I'm gonna leave a link in the description to that, of course. Other than that, it's pretty straightforward. Uh, you can adjust your system message here to whatever you want, of course. And yeah, so the point of this code was that you can kind of turn it into whatever you want, whatever source you want to. And if you want to uh, change up the chunk sizes here, you can always go in here and set the chunk sizes, let's say to 500, maybe more. And you have the vault file that uh, stores those, right? And yeah, that is kind of how I thought about this. I have another use case too. Uh, I might just quickly show you how I use that, but for now, yeah, this is the setup. I'm gonna be putting this um, code here in uh, my public GitHub, so you can just go down and check it out if you want to. You can find that in the description below. Okay, so let's do one more test. Let's do this needle in a haystack test. So let me just find a post here with a lot of comments. So this had 300 comments. Let me just find a comment here that kind of stands out and see if we can find it. Okay, so here we have, there was Shattered Horizon from 2009, a zero-G multiplayer shooter. So let's try to ask about what Shattered Horizon was. So let's just go, what was Shattered Horizon? Okay, so let's see here now if we can see it. There's a lot of text here, so let's just wait for the answer. Yeah, you can see LLM response. Shattered Horizon was a zero-gravity multiplayer shooter game released in 2009. Perfect. And we get some more information about it, so yeah. Pretty cool. So I think we actually find exactly that comment we were looking for there. So yeah, I'm pretty happy how this works. Okay, so now I just want to show you kind of the use case I've turned is to that is kind of personal to me. So I do it to... I want to search to uh, titles or posts that has these keywords. These are just examples, so... AI, LLM, OpenAI, RAG, Model, Agent, and I want to search through this to kind of find a post that is kind of relevant to what I like to look at, right? Uh, so let's just run this, and I can show you, so if we just run this now, should be pretty quick. Uh, yeah, we're going to search the three first pages now, and we're going to convert it into JSON, right? Okay, scrape post saved. Uh, if we open this now, you can see uh, the title, Humane AI, uh, Ulama, and we have uh, LLM pretending. So all the posts I actually fetched now has some information about uh, AI, right? And that is kind of what I'm interested in. Uh, but now I'm going to do a bit uh, of a different thing. So let me just show you here. Uh, I have a second program now that is running Claude Tree Sonnet. And the prompt here is that... Please analyze the following JSON comment data. And I feed in all the, the full JSON file. And I want to identify key topics that generated the strongest engagement and emotional responses, right? I want a very short brief uh, of the topic. Include the URL, extract the three most emotional comments, and an, a YouTube video ID. So yeah, let's just run this now. So let's do pythonmatrix.py. So, yeah, I'm just gonna let this run for a while and see what we get back here. Okay, so we have the result back here. You can see topic one, Humane AI's Pico Laser something. Quick summary, we have the URL, that's perfect. Most emotional comments. Uh, it ain't pig butchering. When the content of writing can't generate revenue, the hate and anger can, okay? Video idea, Humane's Pin Pico Laser disaster. Lessons for AI product launches. Mm, that's not good. Ulama's lack of uh, attribution to Ulama CPP, okay. Uh, it's the same behavior as Amazon did when OSS, uh, which in turn of force, okay. Uh, what makes this worse for me is that I don't thank kudos, uh, something. The importance of open source attribution, lessons from the Ulama controversy, <laughs> okay. Uh, Mega loadons, unlimited context tank LLM. Ah, that's a cool paper, right? Uh, most emotional comments, open paper, find GitHub, read source, dead link. I've stopped reading the papers. <laughs> Fix the bad link and then we have something to talk about. So yeah, video idea, the mega load on mess, navigating unreleased, unreleased AI research code. Uh, so yeah, kind of cool, uh, but uh, yeah, I have to work a bit on this. This is just like in the early stage of what I kind of want to use this for, but uh, it's a okay prototype. I need to work more on the prompt and kind of what I want out of this. 
So yeah, I might do an update on this, but I just wanted to show you and give you some kind of ideas what you can use all of this yeah, good data from, I would say, because a lot of people on Hacker News, um, very smart people, right? A lot of knowledge here, uh, a lot of good comments, if you ask me. So that's why I kind of wanted to get some information about this. So yeah, like I said, uh, I'm going to leave this uh, uh, co code here up in the public repo. So if you want to try it out, go ahead. Leave a star if you find it interesting. Other than that, thank you for tuning in and I'll see you for a very cool project on Sunday.